Hello Stamper, welcome to French's video. I'm France Martin, independent demonstrator with Stamping Up. And today I'm going to show you how to do a floating card. I call that a floating because it's kind of float in the center there. And this one it's three side. I'm going to show you how to do four side. Uh, you can even go at five side, but I think that would be thick to mail. And this fold all flat, so easy to mail, no extra uh, shipping. I, I wouldn't think so. And um, it's kind of cool. Oh, this one blue depends how I fold it. Here we go. So now I get different size. So I'm going to show you how to do this. First thing you want to do, depending on how many side. Tonight I'm going to show you how to do four side. So you're going to need four pieces of cardstock, and it's good to have at least two color and it measures four and a quarter by five and a half so it's a quarter sheet you're going to need you're going to cut all your four um, piece and try to cut it as close as possible to the all the same and the next step you're going to all score them <coughs> excuse me on the long way at two and one eight two and one eight it's the medium line right there so the one between the quarter and the two, so you're going to score all of them at two and one eight. Then what you're going to do, we're using, you can do that in any shape. I wanted the star, you can do circle, or I saw the Christmas one, Christmas ornament. I'm using the star, and I'm using number three and four. So um, this would be my star here, one, two three and then four so we're using three and four and out of the three and four we're using the bigger one to cut our first one so you're going to have to cut them all so i cut one with the big shot after you cut one you're going to use one for your sample your your guide your yeah your guide so you're going because they won't cut two at a time tin lets are tin and they won't really cut two at a time. I'm going to take my star and put it in my opening. If you wick a little bit, you're going to feel it exactly when it's right, put at the right place. It's grabbed on the side, on the side of the paper that it's open. Now this one, it's kind of easy because it's two different color, but I'm using two of the same colors. So it, that one was I have to be more careful after you put that on top even if it's off a little bit I'm sure mine's gonna be uh, I'm gonna show you how to trim that okay after you've done this part here we're gonna remove this and you see my plate mark this a bit I don't know if you see cuz I had cuts on it that's okay that's going to go inside let's remove the star with this star here we're going to use number four and put that in it's no use to get another piece of paper use the same one you're going to see where your score try to line that as best as you possible from the tip and the center now we're going to cut that so you're going to do that on all four pieces of your cardstock. Now let's remove that. The first one you just decide where you want it on your card and then you have to use that one for your guide. Okay then these piece here I'm sure we can save that. We get four of them that I could do something else with that. And I was thinking to take the bigger one and do a mount to uh, not the bigger one the second one there the number two and to put one there it's too much right on the side almost it could have fit but then it was so much in the thickness I decide not to so now you see your score line score that try to make as possible all equal there really reinforce this and do that on all four of your side and then you're going to do the same thing with your star. Here we go. Okay, oh, this one was not done either. Okay, 
Here we go. Really reinforce this. It's going to make a difference when we're going to close our card. Put it together. Then the same thing with our star. Now for this, I really recommend um, the for the glue, the multi-purpose purpose glue. I started one with a fast fuse or yeah, fast fuse. If you do just one little mistake, you don't have no place to move. So let me push you this down. Now pick any color. This one here, remember, it's the side that was rough that we cut. So this, uh, yeah, this need to go in inside. So it need to go inside. One minute here, I have to think here. So I want the glue on that. Okay, that's right. So I want the glue on this side. Don't go past the where the score. So you can fold it and then, oh, I should have grabbed a new one. Oh, no, we got enough. Then put glue, enough but not too much because you don't want it to ooze on the side. And this, I'm telling you, the um, Tombow glue, it's the best glue for this type of card. Now I'm going to take a yellow. Make sure the opening is on the same side. Opening, opening. And then usually I used to do this. Open this up so then it's easier to match. Try to match that as close as possible. But like I said, if you're off on the side a bit, don't worry about that. We will fix that off. Now rub this good. Give a good push there. Now we're going to do this side. So you get this. You don't put glue there. You just fold it back. Really on all the edge, that's where you want it so it don't, because you keep on, you know, playing with it. Now you're going to take this one, try to match that as close as you can. See now I can move it. You saw I could move it a bit, so that helped a lot. Okay, now we just get one more layer, see? So now if you want to do three, that's when you would put your uh, line there and then put the centers. You, those two would get glue. Voila. So what I mean by your, your line, I'm using fishing line here. That's it. So it's clear so it don't show. So I cut it longer than I need. It's cheap enough and it's easier to take it out. Okay, where's my opening? Here it is. So now, whoops, so that's what I would do if I would finish at three. I would put this here, put plenty of glue, and I would put some uh, fast fuse right there so it don't move and then glue it together. So that's for three. Now we're going at four, so we need to keep on going. So let's do another Here we go. Right there on the side, it's important. Now, the opening go with the side of the opening there. See, if it would be fast fuse, I would be done. It would be so off. So that's why I'm saying um, the Tombow glue give you so much give. So you can move it and Four, really, it would be about the max I would do. Maybe five, but it would get very thick. Okay. Now, this is my center. It's going to get, well, my center. It's where it finished there. So now, what you're going to do, 
I'm going to use my fast fuse here. Put that right in the center, right in the center. Now it don't matter, really, we could finish all that with the fast fuse. Now I'm going to take this, no I don't put my center in now, me, and pull this as tight as you can so it's very strong. I'm sorry I get distracted by a bird. Here we go. That's funny. Now take your glue and you just have to do on one side. Because here everything matched, so you don't have to really worry when you close it. So that's why. But the fast fuse, why I put the fast fuse, it's for the, the fishing line that it stays so much better with something stronger. Make sure on this side there. Now we're going to close this. I like to lift it up to close it. It's easier. Make sure if you get glue, you wipe that off. Et voila. Okay, now you could do all your stamping. I do my stamping after, so then, so I get two of the same color there, there, and this seem very, very strong here. Now, we're going to prepare our star, and the star, we're going to do the same thing. Now I get glue on my hand. We're going to put on one side. Take the blue, so we rotate the color. Oops. Then I'm going to put another one here. Now that's the blue. We're going to go back with the yellow. The yellow, it's a Def Del Delight. Okay, now the last one. Don't worry about the last one till we put it around our, uh, I want to say wire, I don't know why, before we put it around our um, fish line. Now we're going to take this here. Open this up. You still can move it. Now we're going to take our glue. This time you want to put it on both sides because we still have one more to go. I find it easier if I put a full one at the end like this for the center. And then squeeze. I could have done my stamping on the star first. That's the part I should have done. But this I like to do it after so then it stay the right way. It's not upside down. I had one upside down. So, et voila. So now I got the four sides. So now you see the difference. Now what you're going to do with this, take this, cut, and cut. And this one, really, I don't have no trimming to do. The other one, here, maybe a little bit, I wouldn't even worry about that one. If that bug you, what you can do, I like to take my big scissors, though. And then just shave it off the how much you need to shave off. I try not to cut in the yellow there. So it was just barely. See, I barely. And see how good it float. So I got my blue with my yellow and my yellow with my blue. And the blue was Bermuda Bay. So now you get your floater at four. And the floater at three. 
so it depends what you like both are the same so the little um, dots it's from the celebration that I had I trimmed that stamp set so I can use just the little dots they must be still on my block over there so and then if I still want the celebration I just mounted my clear block with my little star there I got uh, life is good in this stamp set then I use uh, the tin of tins tin of cards congrats to you and congratulations grads it's BYOP so you can put anyone you want and itty bitty uh, uh, tin let's get um, the happy graduation this one here I think I just want for a congratulation card not a, a graduation but it can be awesome to, for a baby card I'm thinking with the star anything that you can think so you see very very simple I got a piece of ink or something there so uh, this is it my friend see how solid now to mail it you're going to put it in your flat so when they're going to open it up you just have to open it almost pop back right in place so this is it how to do your floating card hope you enjoyed this if you're not a subscriber of my youtube right in the bottom right here you get the subscribe now so you would be the first one uh, one of the first one to get notified when i do a video if you like the video thumbs up and for all your stamping up product visit my blog at frenchystamps.com Thank you so much and have a lovely day, my friends.